If you are looking for a charming town closer to Atlanta with a more affordable price point, this is the town for you. Duluth, Georgia is a larger town in Gwinnett County with a population of around 32,000 residents. It sits right on the western border of Gwinnett and is about 28 miles northeast of Atlanta and it's Gwinnett's third largest city. It's got a really charming downtown area, as you can see, and you've got really great access to Atlanta, a highly diverse population with great access to many Korean and Asian businesses and you have a really affordable price point here, more so than some of the neighboring cities. Hi, I'm Sarah Mislowski with Key Point Homes Group, a local real estate agent serving the North Metro Atlanta area. So what do you need to know about living here in Duluth? Like you just saw, Duluth has a very affordable downtown area with a ton of great restaurant options, cool coffee shops, and breweries. They have one of my favorite Mexican restaurants, Pure Taquiera, and I find myself stopping in there quite a bit. There's this cool little section called Parsi Alley, which is a little restaurant district. There's a really cool restaurant called The Falling Rabbit, which has a bit of a swankier feel to it, and the food is absolutely incredible. Persons Alley has several restaurants like this, cool places that you won't find on every street corner. This is a very cool spot to come for a date night or a girls night out. A lot of fun and unique options that you can find right around here. There's also a festival center in downtown, which is an outdoor amphitheater, which they host concerts and events throughout the year. And you also have a water fountain area for kids to play in during the summer. If you're familiar with the Swanee Town Center, this is pretty similar, just a little bit more on a smaller scale. I can't quite put my finger on why, but downtown Duluth just feels a bit more charming than downtown Suwannee or Cumming City Center. It's definitely smaller than both of those, but it just feels like it has a little bit more character. They do a great job of hosting events all throughout the year, and they really create a sense of kind of like small town community there. There are a few neighborhoods within walking distance of downtown, which is amazing. Walkability is something that a lot of people reach out to us about looking for, and there's not a ton of options like that here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, but this is one place where you can find it. One of the biggest perks about Duluth is the proximity to Atlanta. Since the town is only 25 miles north of Atlanta, depending upon when and where you are trying to get, it's about a 40 minute drive into the city. This is a more popular option for commuters since it's not a horrible drive in and you can find a more affordable house than you could in towns like Alpharetta and Johns Creek. Duluth feeds right into Johns Creek, but it comes with a much better average sales price. Currently, the average sales price in Duluth sits at $682,000, but this is quite a jump from the previous month where it was $515,000. Johns Creek currently has an average of 884,000. Now, the interesting thing about Duluth is that the town is kind of divided by Highway 120. The north end of town has a lot of country clubs and multi-million dollar neighborhoods like St. Marlowe Country Club, Sugarloaf Country Club, Sweet Bottom Plantation, and St. Ives Country Club. You also have Sugarloaf Country Club and St. Marlowe are the two most popular country club communities in Gwinnett County with top-notch amenities, multiple pools, tennis courts, along with award-winning golf courses. On the south end of the town, you're gonna find a lot of older, more established communities built in the early 80s and 90s. Now, Duluth is not a huge town, so they're not a ton of listings, which means that those high-priced country club neighborhoods really tip the scales when looking at the average price point, since those homes are selling for one, two, even $3 million. So the median sales price of $525,000 here in Duluth will give you a better frame of reference when it comes to sales prices. Homes closer to that median sales price are likely going to be older. Like we talked about before, this is an older town, so you will see a lot of homes from the 80s and 90s, meaning most homes either need quite a bit of updating or have recently been renovated. Now, you do have the option to buy an older home and come in and make cosmetic updates to greatly increase the value of your home if you were to sell it in the next several years. If you're willing to put in a little bit of elbow grease, you're definitely going to get a great return on your money. Like Alpharetta and Johns Creek, you will not find a ton of new construction options in Duluth since it is an established area, but there are a small handful of areas of new construction neighborhoods and townhome options as well. In fact, I'm currently working with a client right now who is buying a new construction townhome in Duluth. And if you're open to a townhome, this will definitely give you more new construction opportunities. If you watched my most recent video about where you can and can't afford 
afford to live in the metro Atlanta area. I told you just how you just can't call and conjure up exactly what you are looking for a, that you want in any town. And this is a great example of what I mean. If new construction is the hill that you want to die on and that is a must for you, Duluth is not going to have a ton of options for you. One thing that draws so many people to Johns Creek, Alpharetta, and Suwannee is their great school rankings, which is part of the reason home prices are so high in these two towns. Duluth also has several highly rated schools, so despite the lower price tag here, you still have some really great options. Peachtree Ridge High School has an 8 out of 10 on greatschools.org, Northview High School has a 9 out of 10, and Lambert High School has a 10 out of 10 rating. So there are some really highly rated options here. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but there are a lot of Korean and Asian grocery stores and businesses here in Duluth. Gwinnett has one of the largest Korean populations in the state as people have migrated to Georgia for the cheaper cost of living and running a business compared to other big cities like Los Angeles in New York City is much more affordable. In fact, there is a shopping center comprised of just Korean businesses from restaurants to hair salons to dental offices and an H Mart. There is also a Jesco supermarket, Mega Mart, and a GW supermarket, which are other popular Asian grocery store options. These certainly aren't your only options for grocery stores in Duluth. They've also got a Little, Sprouts, Sam's Club, Costco, and the list goes on. Duluth has a mall called Gwinnett Place Mall that back in the day was the place to be. Just like most malls, it has lost its luster in recent years and it is not the hot spot that it used to be. You may have actually seen Gwinnett Place Mall before. Season three of Stranger Things was actually filmed there. The mall was essentially a ghost town, so they came in and had a pretty great canvas to recreate the 80s style shopping mall and gave it life for a tiny bit. Now, the county bought most of the mall with plans to create a live, work, play type of community here. So we will continue to watch how things take shape here. One of the biggest downsides of Duluth has to be the traffic. It is a very congested area. You've got so many major different roadways going through town, so you're going to have to deal with the traffic. But that accessibility makes things easier for commuters. You've got Highway 84, you've got Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, Satellite Boulevard, and Buford Highway, and all of those run parallel to each other, running into Buckhead and then into the city. Or you can get on 85 and head north. Many people love Duluth because it is also close to Johns Creek, Suwannee, and Alpharetta, and the city, but it comes with a more affordable price tag. So what do you think? Would you add Duluth to your list of places to check out? Let me know in the comments below. If you are considering making the move to Duluth, you have to reach out to me. You can find my contact information below this video. For more videos on great cities around North Metro Atlanta area, make sure you watch this.